a lot of wisdom for guys is understand your life is in seasons. Okay, so little kid season is little kid season. It's not big truck season. I don't know everything about God. I don't have all the answers to all the tough questions, but I know enough to know I can trust him. Amen. I can trust his character. That's it. Yeah. I think that's such an encouragement. I, I know even to me because one of the biggest struggles men have is imposter syndrome, right? Totally. It, everywhere we are, we feel like we're not really equipped. And yep. the truth is half the time we're not really equipped, right? Yeah. But God, right? We get to yeah. rest on him and say, okay, Lord, you've promised to provide for my daily bread. And I'm, I'm calling out to you and this is what I need in the moment. It, it is so good. And I can tell you, I'm in a similar, similar place. If, if I could have never imagined I would be doing this now, I couldn't have imagined I would be doing this now five years ago, mm -hmm. let alone mm -hmm. when I was 20 years old, I was in a completely different world mm -hmm. at that time. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so man, I, I just, honestly, I just want to say thank you for bringing that up because it's a reassurance. Good. And hopefully it leads to a life that's a lot more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Just a lot. Because Jesus is relaxed. Look at how he's present with people. Amen. I love, I love that, the Samaritan lady at the well story. I never noticed this until recently. After that whole thing, she, he's talking to her. And then she goes back to her village. She's like, he may be the Messiah. What do you think? So they meet him. And they say, hey, you want to stay with us for a few days? Mm. And I stopped myself when I was reading that in the Bible, like, I don't remember this. I wonder what he says. He says, yeah. And so he stays with them for a few days. Yeah. Like, he's got, he's got more to do than we do, or what, but like, he's right. relaxed. So yeah. doing this day-to-day -day thing helps me to just be, I don't, I don't think I'm that driven, but what I am is present. So whoever I'm talking to, I am dialed into. And if I want to be, faithful with whoever crosses my path that's what i ask for and then to be focused and let god take care of my whatever stuff right. he can do that so so as men how do you balance then because we're also called to be faithful stewards we're called to be working how should we be dreaming and planning and building as men well okay i think contentment is way underrated okay it doesn't get talked about enough and one of the things I actually do talk about is I think I have a chapter called, wow, that's awesome. And I don't have to have it. <laughs> like, it's a wonderful thing to say. And it, it occurred to me when I was out walking in my neighborhood, there's a Porsche Carrera that sits out here, which is a beautiful car. Yeah. And as I was, I was walking by like, I actually could get one now. That's really awesome. I'd like, to, wait, why can't I just say that's a beautiful car and I don't have to own it? Right. Why, why can't I say that about a woman? Wow, that's a beautiful woman. And that's it. I can, actually. Right. I don't have to have everything. Else, but that's kind of countercultural. But what it does is it leads you to make better decisions and wise decisions. To also realize, like, that takes a lot of stress out of, out of the finances when you're like, I don't have to have all these nice things. I need to be dialed in and faithful. God can meet our needs. So I made a decision years ago to take a very low paying job so that I'd be home all the time. Mm. We barely made any money, uh, but we homeschooled. So I was home by noon or one. I had a very low stress job and I forsook law school at the time. I got, it fits long story, but no prestige for what I was doing, no money. I would never trade that. I had every afternoon to hang out and play and go swimming with my kids. Yeah. Every day. And now the Lord's been faithful in this season. I'm making up for lost time. Right. So I, I think a, a lot of wisdom for guys is understand your life is in seasons. Okay. So little kid season is little kid season. It's not big truck season. Right. If Amen. that's the decision, like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself, like you don't need that yet. You can get one maybe later, but there's a lot of decisions we can make just dialed in to know what season of life you're actually in. 
so that you can be a good steward with that season of your life. Man, I, I love that you say stewarding the season um, because it's so much more than just thinking about what we need to do right now with these resources. And stewardship always tends toward how, how are we managing our money or time, right? But you're talking about whole whole big eras with our family and with our career. That's so important. I, I want to ask you one more question down this mm -hmm. path. And I, I think I know where you're going. Um, as you're doing that though, day to day, right? There's always the, the temptation in the back of your mind to say, what are we going to do at retirement age? Mm -hmm. Like, how am I going to make it when I'm old and I've forsook all these things now so how do we balance as men kind of living day to day, trusting God for our daily bread and knowing that he says that a righteous man leaves an inheritance for his children and grandchildren? Yeah, I think that verse is a, is doing a lot of work there for people. <laughs> I mean, are you telling me that the faithful believers I get to work with in Africa like if they don't leave an inheritance, they're, they're not righteous. I don't think that's, I don't think that's right. I'm all for leaving an inheritance, by the way. I hope I do sure. for my kids, but I don't, I don't think that's the prescription per se. But you, what you said at the beginning is the prescription, which is trusting God with it. So for me, it was a trusting God with my retirement when I made these decisions to be with my kids, so that my kids know me like, and they still know me. Amen. And unlike my growing up existence, which was just this Christian home of a pastor, it was highly hypocritical home. Like they, they hear me on my podcast or they hear me talking to you or whatever. And they're not going, Oh, what a big fake. Right. There is no disconnect, but, but I made, I made those decisions. And I'm so thankful I did. And God provided the whole way. So we have, we have a whole raft of stories about how God provided just in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. And now on the now that the kids are out of the house, I've got a good retirement built up. I didn't see that coming. Right. There's no way I saw that coming. Yeah. He, so, he's faithful with those decisions. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, we, so, yeah. I, man, I, I really appreciate that. And I know I dropped that one on you, but I wanted to see good. how you would go with it. But I'm, I'm in the same place. We, a uh, little more than seven years ago now, our family sold our house and everything in it and loaded up in a travel trailer and an, an excursion and drove out across the country to make a movie. And I knew at the time I didn't have the money for the movie. I didn't have the money to live like a traveling retired person. And we had to daily <laughs> trust in the Lord. And just like you, and th this is the reason I bring that up is just like you, I have story after story after story right. of God's it's specific so your kids. Yes, amen. They were there the whole time. Right. They will never forget that. Ever. This episode of Rapid Response was brought to you by CTC Math. Visit them at ctcmath.com today.